What's up, YouTube? Shit. What's up, you guys? Infected Zen in here, coming at you guys with the not worried of coming at you guys lots of times, repetition type stuff. And this video is going to be very boring if you are um, pretty experienced in the game of Yu Gi Oh! You know, this is geared more towards new players. I'm looking at myself over there, I'm going to move it up a little. So I'm looking more towards the camera. I, I like looking at myself when I speak on camera. It's kind of awkward just looking at a fucking hole and a, and a light beaming at my face. <laughs> um, messy as a bed. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh players ain't got the time for fucking make beds. It's just how it goes. And so as you can tell by the title of this video is some tips at how to be better regional YCS tier two events. Really, um, maybe a box tourney or something. I don't know. Again, if you're experienced, you probably don't want to watch this video, it's fucking boring. It's gonna be boring regardless, but it's gonna be even more boring, since you probably know um, the tips. So, quick background to my competitive side, I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to play when I was little, uh, maybe, I don't know, not maybe, but I used to play with fucking vanilla warrior dot deck, because the warriors have always been my favorite type in Yu-Gi-Oh! And so, you know, I had them, I had lightning blade. <laughs> And then I just got back out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Really, I grew out of it, quote unquote. And um, so then, back around freshman year, I sort of got back into it, but not really. I was still playing the Warrior deck. And then sophomore year, which was 2011, 2011, 2012-ish area, I finally got back into the game competitively, full on. You know, buying Dark Old Structure deck, all that snazz. And it was really a really good experience, really, coming back into Yu-Gi-Oh! competitive. It's a fun game, it really is. Um, the only problem with it is that it's, co it's gonna cost you money, but any hobby is gonna cost you money. You, you fly airplanes, you know, those, not little like this little, but those mechanical air airplanes, that, that shit cost money, a lot of money, probably a lot more than Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, boating, kayaking, that kind of stuff, it, it all costs money, so... It's not like people complain about you giving so much money, but any hobby you do is really a lot of money and time consuming too. So, when I got back into Yu Gi Oh! Sorry, I'm awkwardly touching myself. I just got out of the shower and, you know, you know what happened there. You know, I lathered soap all over myself. And, <laughs> so stupid. Um, so, uh, when I got back into the game, I had a Dark World deck. I, it was really shit. It was like structured deck all the way with like. The rare tour guys that had just come out that day, you know, was it? I think I went. To, yeah, I went to the regionals last year actually because it, the tour guys had come out Battle Pack, and I know Battle Pack came out sometime in 2012. So it was last year that I went to the regionals, and but I was also playing a really bad deck. Don't get me wrong, I was playing like two gold, two silver, three tour guide back when that was the thing. Sangan was still a thing back then, and Morphing Jar too. So I had like a 20 monster count, which was ridiculous, really. But whatever, that's the point. And that's the only regionals I've ever attended. I haven't attended a regional ever since I feel like I've become like a way better player. Uh, I've attended one YCS. I went, actually I went 5-3 in both of the events. But I just dropped out of the YCS because there was no reason to play anymore really. I mean, it was already kind of late. Because the fucking YCS man, I mean, took forever and a fucking half to start really. But, <sighs> boring as fuck, right? So, you know, the first regional that I went to was my first event past locals that I had attended. and. I was pretty nervous, so all I can tell you guys, tip-wise, um, not to waste too much time, is number one, get a good night's rest before fucking going to the event, trust me. Um, I remember YCS Miami by round two, I was falling asleep, like, g-shit, like, I was already, like, fucking knocking out. And I was playing, on all five out of my eight rounds, I played against six, four or five mermail matches, which was a top-tier deck back in the time, and, uh... Yeah, it was not very good to be half asleep against Mermails, you know, you gotta be fully a 10. Not anymore, pretty much. Kinda, I guess. It's kinda awkward how the camera light just changed, it's kinda weird. Um, and, um, I can say, so yeah, get a good night's rest. I see tournament reports all the time, people um, get like two hours worth of sleep, it's not good, trust me. You, you wanna sleep as much as you can. Play test before, you have a lot of preparation time. Play test, get your deck ready, all that stuff, so. Um, unless you know someone's gonna have the cards there, I really would recommend another tip: picking up the deck beforehand, um, because picking up like the cards for the deck beforehand and just having you in a week's advance because it's really not worth it. I would dish out the money to, to finish the deck 
and then just save up with that week because it's really hectic and I see lots of times um, people pick up their deck like within the week and then they, the, the stuff doesn't come in the mail maybe and then they just get you know fisted pretty much because they just wasted their time and money well not really but you know you really want to play it to for regionals I also want to say pay full attention to the game um, I know a lot of people get their stuff stolen in events but just make sure you keep your mind in like your stuff and in the game if that makes sense like what I do is um, I wish I had my, my book bag's all the way over there I don't I don't want to get up but I usually have my book bag on in front of me as I play so that way I, I don't really have to be paying attention much because no one's gonna you know be like uh, excuse me sir and then they're just gonna you know grab my stuff from there and then I have everything on my map that I need um, so yeah the light keeps changing it's kind of weird but uh, what else um yeah, make a deck that's viable. I see a lot of times that regionals people literally playing like a structure deck. Why would you go to regionals, pay twenty dollars, waste your entire day playing Yu-Gi-Oh if you're just gonna play a structure deck? And that's not meant to offend anybody, but you can make a really good deck, a pretty viable deck for say, for sixty dollars. Really, it's like buying a video game, you know. Um, yeah, here let's use this example. Instead of buying Borderlands. No, the glare. Borderlands. Just buy yourself a, a, a deck. Really, it's only sixty dollars. Um, you can you can use the money at all times. I mean, you can use your deck whenever you want, and I feel like it just would be better to go with a, a deck that you have at least a chance of winning than just going with a deck that you're gonna get raffle stomped all day. And yeah, um, let me see if I can think of anything else. This is the top of my head. I like speaking. No script. Scripts are scripts are for the the week. And I'm just saying these things so I can think of something that I can. Um, uh, pee between rounds, <laughs> like if you gotta take a leak, a leak between rounds, I guess. Um, make sure you keep track of life points. A lot of people get cheated like that. Try not to get cheated too, but pay full attention to your opponent. Uh, people shuffle, they're looking at your cards and stuff. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking Yu Gi Oh, guys. If you have to cheat to win a children's card game, it's not really a children's card game, but. If you have to cheat to win a card game, you're awful. Like, you just give it the life, really, because it's, you know what it is? You're cheating against kids that, you know, I'm not saying I'm a kid. I'm like, se I'm 17. I'm like 17. I'm 17, turning 18. But most of the people that play this game are like 24 plus, and like, you're cheating kids that are five, six years younger than you. That's retarded, guys. Maybe the other way around and it'd be not okay, but like, it'd be understandable. But you know what it is? 25 year olds cheating with not even 18 year olds. It's kind of sad. Uh, that's pretty much all I got tips if you guys have any tips for anybody trying to um, get better at Yu-Gi-Oh make sure to leave them in the comment section below because yeah it's always uh, nice and here's a real life video I haven't done much of these recently uh, I'll have a regionals coming up in a week or in a week yeah it's next weekend and so I'll have a tournament report on that so thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button it really helps out my channel a lot again comment down below any other tips that you can give other people and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and pick the Zenith signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.